Jungles and rainforests are just full of surprises. It's no wonder that a lot of amazing discoveries come from its dark depths, because you just never know what you're gonna find. Some jungle discoveries are even shrouded in mystery. You know, kinda like number one, so you might wanna stay tuned for that. Here are 10 amazing discoveries in the jungle. Number 10. A tiny frog. One of the world's tiniest frogs, one that's barely even larger than a pea, has been found living, of all places, in and around carnivorous plants in the rainforest of Borneo. That's kinda like sleeping near the edge of a cliff, but that just shows how brave these tiny little guys are. A couple of German scientists were researching frogs in Malaysia's Sarok State on Borneo Island when they chanced upon the tiny species on a mountain road in the Kuba National Park in 2006. They named the tiny discovery Microhyla nepenthacola after the pitcher plant species where they live. The pitcher plants where these frogs live are carnivorous and feed on insects that fall into the digestive liquid inside their upturned bellies. But they don't harm the frogs inside. In fact, the frogs laid their eggs in that same digestive liquid and the tadpole develops there as well. Because the frogs are so small, the scientists had a difficult time finding them. They only found them by tracking their singing of harsh rapping notes at dusk. Number 9. A Boiling River This boiling river was found in the Peruvian Amazon giving more credence to the city of Gold Story, but the boiling river itself was deemed an impossibility until it was discovered. The waters in this river reach temperatures of up to 196 degrees Fahrenheit or 91.1 degrees Celsius. The water boils everything that touches it, whether that's unsuspecting frogs or fish that realize too late that the water is heating up. People are clueless as to what else could be causing the water to boil, as it behaves unlike any river anywhere else in the world. Some say it runs over a fault line in the earth, while others say the gods have created it, as they like to watch animals fall in and cook from the inside out as they try to escape. Number 8. The Peanut Head Bug This weird thing may look like a crocodile, but it's actually an insect. That snout-like protrusion is actually the creature's enlarged, bumpy forehead. Known as a lanternfly, the peanut-headed lanternfly, alligator bug, snake cicada, machaca, chikara machoi, or jequintiraneboi, that word display it please. Yes, the peanut head bug is native to Central and South American countries such as Brazil, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, and Bolivia, but mostly in the rainforest regions. With a big peanut head like that in its bulky body, you wouldn't think that the bug would be very good at anything. But, wrapped up in its body, is its main form of protection, its display of fake eyes on its wings. It uses this to confuse predators in regards to its size. If that doesn't work out, the bug also has a skunk-like stinky spray that it can use as a defensive weapon. There's also a legend associated with this bug. According to local folklore, anybody bit by this bug will succumb to a horrible death within 24 hours, unless that someone has sex before his time expires. Oh yeah, that, um... It sounds totally legit. That's something made up by some lonely dude. Number 7. The Stone Spheres of Costa Rica In the 1930s, workers from the United Fruit Company, clearing out a forest in the Dequi Valley of Costa Rica, began unearthing large numbers of almost perfectly round stone spheres. The largest of these apparently man-made balls is over 2 meters in diameter and weighs over 16 tons. No one is sure exactly when or how they were made or for what reason, but according to University of Kansas archaeologist John Hoops, the balls were most likely made by reducing round boulders to a spherical shape through a combination of controlled fracture, pecking, and grinding. They were likely the product of an extinct civilization of people that existed in the area between 700 CE and 1530 CE. Today, virtually all the spheres have been taken from their original locations. Many are prized lawn ornaments across Costa Rica. A collection of six now resides in the courtyard of Costa Rica's National Museum in San Jose. Number 6. The Giant River Otter The Giant River Otter is the world's largest at some six feet long. It lives only in the rivers and creeks of the Amazon, Orinoco, and La Plata River systems. These huge members of the weasel family swim by propelling themselves with their powerful tails and flexing their long bodies. They also have webbed feet, water-repellent fur to keep them dry and warm, and nostrils and ears that close in the water. Fish make up most of the giant otter's diet. They hunt alone or in groups, sometimes using coordinated efforts, and must be successful often to meet their daily intake quota. Each animal may eat 6 to 9 pounds of food per day. 
Fish are supplemented by crustaceans, snakes, and other river creatures, and they are even known to feed on anacondas. Number 5. Sigiriya Sigiriya is one of Sri Lanka's most popular tourist attractions, and with good reason. This ruined 5th century city has some extraordinary features, including mountain wall fortifications, elaborately landscaped gardens, and a monastery. However, it is the 200 meter high granite rock that stands out from these ruins that is undoubtedly the star attraction, with its exquisite frescoes and the remains of a royal palace on the summit. The Lion Fortress, as it's also called, was built in the 5th century AD, but was later abandoned and subsequently swallowed up by the forest. Back then, only the locals actually knew of its existence. It was rediscovered in the 19th century by British historians and was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1982. It was called the Lion Fortress because it was originally built to look like a lion. During its heyday, it said that it even sported a massive lion's head, which has since then been broken off and destroyed due to erosion. But head or no head, its rediscoverers would have found it outstanding at first sight. Number 4. The Stinking Corpse Lily Smelling something really bad, akin to rotting meat, while exploring the forest could mean a lot of things. And most of them are bad news and too morbid really to discuss here. We are still a family channel after all, but one stinky jungle discovery proved to be quite amazing. Indigenous to the jungles of Sumatra and Borneo, one of the world's most unusual flowers causes both awe and repulsion. The rare stinking corpse lily creates a smell best described as rotting flesh. The stinking corpse lily's odor arises from a combination of more than 30 chemicals and resembles decomposing meat. Out of these, trimethylamine smells like rotting fish, and the sweaty sock smell comes from isovaleric acid. They are rarely found in the wild and can often only be located when they bloom, the point when they are at their stinkiest, and scientists literally have to follow their noses when trying to find one. You think no one in their right mind would even try to keep one of these stinkers, but a botanical garden in Malaysia has a couple of them, and is quite the tourist attraction. Number 3. The Lost City of Giants for centuries, people living near and around the Amazon rainforest have believed that giants once called the jungles. But far from being wild folk, these giants were thought to have advanced civilization and even built very prosperous settlements. That is how the legend goes, but recent discoveries turned that legend into reality. Touted as one of the most significant discoveries of the 21st century, the discovery of the lost city of giants in Ecuador has given credibility of past tales of giants roaming the earth. Many a local legend spoke of a time when incredible giant beings inhabited the remote region of Ecuador. These giants created megalithic sites, and this ancient city is just one of the many that are located in the region. Researchers discovered a series of megalithic structures deep in the jungle, the largest of which was a 260 foot tall by 260 foot wide pyramid with an irregular angle. The pyramid had a flat top, which was believed to be used for blood sacrifices. They were also able to find some stone tools that are simply too big to be used by us regular sized humans. And most recently, scientists were able to find 600 year old human skeletons which were more than 7 feet tall. Now it's time for the day's best pick. It shows of all things a passenger plane right smack in the middle of a forest. Is this a long lost flight recently rediscovered like the internet says? Or is it something taken out of context like most viral photos are? Let's find out next with number 2. A crashed airplane. Let me get right to the point. The only way for this plane to end up where it was is if it crashed there. And given that I'm one of the world's best internet sleuths, partly because I have a little bit too much time on my hands, I basically found out that the plane in this photo is a Fokker F-28. Now, have there been any F-28s missing in the last couple of decades or so? If so, we might have just found it, but that's not quite the story. Like I said earlier, this is one of those photos that have been taken out of context. While it is true that this plane crashed into a jungle, it's actually not a lost plane. In fact, it definitely arrived as its intended destination. It just overshot it a little bit. This aircraft was making a landing approach in rainy conditions in an airport in Silet, Bangladesh in 2004. Due to poor visibility, the pilot overshot the runway and ended up where it is, in a ditch in a small forest right at the edge of the runway. So the plane isn't really an amazing discovery, but I'm happy to report that no one was hurt during the bumpy landing. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. 
Number 1. The Lost Stone Head of Guatemala. Over half a century ago, deep in the jungles of Guatemala, a gigantic stone head was uncovered. The face had fine features, thin lips, and a large nose, and its face was directed up at the sky. Unusually, the face demonstrated Caucasian features which were not consistent with any of the pre-Hispanic races of America. The massive megalithic head was photographed in 1950 by the owner of the field where the head was allegedly found. The photograph was eventually sent to a certain Dr. Oscar Rafael Padilla Lara, but he never managed to contact the owner of the land as he died, leaving Padilla with only a photograph and a mysterious giant head, lost somewhere in the jungle of Guatemala. Padilla wanted to find the massive head at all costs and set out on a journey to do so. After showing the image to a native of the region, Padilla found out that the monolith was supposedly located on one of the properties of the Biner family. Eventually, Padilla found the statue, but to his surprise, it was nearly completely disfigured after being used as target practice by local militants. Do you know of a jungle discovery that he left out? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing discoveries? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.